hi guys welcome back to my channel so I went to the bins um, three days was it three days it's three days in one week and I went to the bins in Colorado which was so exciting because I missed going to the bins I went to the Denver bins once I was able to stay for about four hours or actually sorry I was able to stay for about three hours and then I went to the Colorado Springs bins um, twice and I stayed for about two hours each time and that's pretty much all I was able to do. I was on vacation, so like I couldn't just like spend all day there. But um, yeah, I'm super excited. Oh yeah, like I said, I went to two different locations. One was way better than the other. So for instance, um, I got this at one location one day, um, the Colorado Springs location. I got this at a Colorado Springs location, plus like a few other things um, that's not in this bag. I actually, now I'm thinking about it, I need to grab it. It's still in my suitcase. And then I went to the Denver location, which Thanks to Street Savvy, Savannah Street Savvy. I don't know if she like watches my videos or not, but um, yeah, she let me know which no location was like the better location so that I wasn't wasting my time since I was a limited time. But I have three bags full. I have like this tiny bag, and then this is necessarily like stuff that I plan on keeping myself. I have this big old duffel bag here, and then I have one of those comforter bags, you know, that you put like your comforters in. It like rips, but I have one of those here as well. So. I did very well at the Denver bins, so I want to go ahead and just show you guys what I got. All right. Um, yeah, I was going to just kind of break it up. I'll just show you guys what I got from the Colorado Springs bins first because the bags are smaller. And I found like this really cute, like tiny IKEA bag. It's not really tiny, but I didn't know they made like any other size besides the big one. So it was like cute, tiny IKEA bag. <laughs> okay, let me uh, let me put this bag down. All right, so this is gonna be a long one, y'all, because I'm gonna show all this in one video. Um, the also I might have missed some stain I might have missed like some flaws especially at the uh, Colorado Springs one because it was a little dark when I was in there which I'm not like too surprised about because I don't think I've ever been to a bins where it's like super super bright but they're a little bit more brighter than that but maybe like the lights were bad that day <laughs> who knows so the first item I got was uh, made well I don't know if this is gonna focus I have it filmed like on my actual camera and like forever and so i'm filming on my actual camera but it's just the maywell top it's striped red stripes um everything definitely needs to like be <laughs> lit rolled and clean from this location i always don't really like to get stripes a lot because i feel like it's really hard for me to like determine if there's stains in there especially if it's like a certain color stripe i found this cloth and stone which i feel like i always find cloth and stone like in this brown or in this gray color Okay, so I found this cloth and stone top. It is a size extra small, and it's just a sham. It's a pullover chambray top. I feel like I've seen this a lot. I think I've even sold this one before, and it has like the split back over here. But I'm pretty sure like I've sold this, sold that exact top before. Um, next is what am I looking at? Oh, Torrid. Okay, Torrid. This is a size two, so two X. And it's a pullover top. It has like this uh, mesh detail here on the back, but I feel like this could be like, um, I don't know, a swim cover up maybe? Okay, so I'm going, I literally just started filming you guys and my battery's about to die. So I'm just gonna film as much as I can. And by the time you guys see the rest of it, it'll be like the third time I try to film this and I might be in even another outfit, so. Let's just go ahead and start. Okay, then we have Scotch and Soda. So I remember, like, I remember hearing about this brand when I first started. I started reselling in 2017, I think. Yeah, I started reselling in 2017 when I got out of the military. And um, I started with, like, my own items, which kind of got me hooked because they were, like, flying off the shelf. They were, like, all pink Victoria's Secret items because that's what I really wore. And then, and then they this was before they catered to like bigger sizes and so i actually stopped wearing them because i couldn't fit their stuff anymore and then the largest size they carried was like a large i think maybe they did an extra large but i don't ever remember seeing an extra large but anyways i remember hearing about scotch and soda and i did find it one time and i was like so super excited but it was um flawed so i didn't get it but 
I found it again and I haven't really heard anything about it so I'm not sure if it's like still a thing or not but this is such a cute shirt I decided to get it anyway even if it's not so scotch and soda it's a medium and it's like this bandana print with uh button front is so cute it's got the bandana print on the inside as well and then um I feel like this is reversible it looks like this is a reversible top because the seams the seams are really nice on both sides it's not reversible I like because this seam right here is not that's not supposed to be shown but anyways it's just a button front top it's got the faded bandana print I think this is really cute so I was like even if it's not anything anymore let me get it and I know I could have looked up comps, but when I'm at the bins, I typically don't look up comps. Um, I did look up some comps a, f a few times just because I was um, I was not here. I was out of state, and so I didn't want to like. I've basically I had limited space right in my truck to come back with a bunch of stuff. So I did look up comps for some things, but most of the stuff I didn't. It was usually like vintage items, and because I want to start selling a little bit more vintage items pieces. And then I think there was like another, a few other like modern pieces I decided to look up and end up throwing back. But typically when I am at the bins, especially like if I'm, you know, in my own area, I won't look up comps. I, I just don't. And I know maybe I should because I don't want to be wasting my time necessarily picking up anything that doesn't resell for, I don't know, a lot. But it's so cheap, right? So it's like, why not? If I, if I could just get it for a dollar or less than a dollar and make $20 off of it, I'm okay with that. But I got these vintage Lees, they're butterfly, they're so cute. So here's uh, like a little logo, Lee, and then, I don't know if there's another tag. No, I don't think there's another tag. So there's that one, this is a size seven and it's 100% cotton, but it's got the little paper tag. But these are cute, I thought, these are like super cute. like so cute probably low rise who knows i know low rise like coming back this is we the free by free people and it, this is a size small and it's just a um like a waffle knit type sweater it's cropped it's super cute i don't think i've ever seen this style with the and then it's got the balloon sleeves with the little like no no this detail right here is really cute super pretty i know we the free runs really large or sometimes they can so I think I'm actually gonna try this on and see if I can fit it because the why not it's super cute but we'll see and because I actually have some really free tops and they're an extra small and I have two of them and I wear them all the time they're just t-shirts but yeah they run their sizing is ridiculous oh I actually got these for myself to try on but if not they don't fit then I just resell them but they are oh what am I doing that's not the Levi's tag <laughs> whoops so they're Levi's here I'll show you back they're levi's and these are a size 33 they're the high rise skinny ankle so like i said i got these for myself because well i didn't even see this bleach mark but i'm okay with that but they're like cargo style type pants like aren't these cute you guys they're so cute i think these will fit because there's like a ton of stretch in them it's got the white tag on them but there is some bleaching on it like some bleach spots on it but they're for myself and i honestly I honestly don't care like I literally will walk around not on purpose but I will walk around with like little specks of food and stains on my shirt because hello we got I got kids and they just they they make me dirty all right so this is American Eagle and this is the size small and I thought this was really cute and in season is a uh it's like a sweater dress or a knit dress I should say not maybe necessarily a sweater v front um, I think these work yeah these buttons are functional long sleeve and then it's just kind of like an a-line a-line fit it's really nice it feels really 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 soft um oh this is for my kid i do pick up kids stuff so this is just cat and jack i'm not reselling this this is just for my son when he gets a little bit older it's just a striped bodysuit or onesie i I love picking up my kids clothes at the bins why because they weigh next to nothing so I'm paying like pennies for these and plus with the boys stuff I feel like it's so I've said this in other videos actually I think I said this in other videos on my other channel but it's so hard to find cute boy items right little boy items even like probably big boy items but I'm not sure 
like there's always cute girl items we know there's going to be cute girl items but i feel like it's so hard to find cute guy items or little boy items and then like i know i could just put my son in anything right but i want him to be cute i want him to have stylish things on just like his sister his sister gets to wear nice pretty things i don't just put her in graphic tees or all the time or anything like she gets to dress up so i can't eat you know so i try to find nice cute things and this is just a little play outfit but i still think it's really nice and cute so especially when i find boy items on the bins that are nice and in good condition i have to get them so i found a ton of um maybe not a ton but i found a few anthropology plus size pieces which i absolutely love because one I love wearing anthropology I have a couple of anthropology dresses and they fit great and so to find these I was super excited now they're not my size but that doesn't hurt a girl to try them on or anything so this is by anthropology um, it's a 2x and it's a polka dot it's a polka dot dress it's just this is really pretty I think this is like super cute for the current season that we're in and like pumpkin patch this actually I might actually wear this at the pumpkin patch and then sell it that's cute though she cute this is oh it's another it's another kid item but I'm gonna show you guys anyway because why not so this is um well it's just Carter Carter's so I don't know maybe you want to see the tag but it is a onesie my son is currently in three to six months he can fit some three month items but like isn't this cute it's a little onesie with the excavator on the side and then it's got the little excavator arms it's this is absolutely adorable so i need to like let me just set his stuff to the side so i can wash it because he doesn't have that much clothes he just advanced to a new size and so He's like out of clothes this is okay so i wasn't sure about getting this um this is just bb but i thought it would go, go well on depop because i do sell on depop as well so it's a knit bb like sweater knit dress body contact dress i'm sure it's a mini dress um it might come down like mid thigh but it's got bb and like the jewels up here so yeah i thought that would be cute it's in good condition like i saw this lady next to me looking at it and then she was looking at it for a while and then she put it back and then i grabbed it and i was looking at it and i had threw it back but then i was like you know what that'd be good for depop so let me go ahead and list it um it is a little dirty so i do need to wash it but that's cute that's real cute on somebody this is by anthropology and this is a size medium and it's this pink blouse with the puff sleeves it kind of flares out a little bit it has to like a subtle stripe onto it and then the buttons up here good condition i found a good amount of um anthropology that day so i was super excited well hello hi oh how was your nap was it good somebody just woke up from a nap 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 mommy's filming Ooh, you pee pee through your pants. Okay. Okay. So I'm back. Um, clearly different shirts. So let me just keep it moving. I'm going to show y'all what I have. Now, if I've shown, if you guys see in things that I've already shown in the first, like, however many minutes this video has been playing for you guys, then I apologize because I, this is my daughter's. That's not even, I didn't thrift that. I, um... Everything got mixed back up together, so I'm trying my best. But anyways, let's just keep it moving. So I found this Lucky Brand jacket. This is a extra large. It's just a black, like, utility type jacket. Is it called, like, Arnark? I think that's, like, the style called, that is called. I'm not really sure, but I actually didn't know this was extra large, but looks kind of... Actually, it doesn't look too big. It doesn't look too small. I might try this on because I love this style of jackets and it's black <laughs> my favorite color not really like my favorite color but one of my favorite colors to wear and so i probably will try that on and see if i can fit it i got this for my daughter and then my son will be able to wear it as well so it's just crayola but like look at this it's a little crayola top and then in the next bin over i found the matching pants so I was super excited about that um yeah so there are three t so she's not currently not in a three t but she's like getting there so she'll be in a three t in a few minutes or 
not in a few minutes that would be wild right if they grew that faster than a few minutes okay so next is carolina bell montro so i didn't look this up or anything but i thought it was like super cute um it's just like a puff shoulder square neck blouse floral blouse and then the sleeves are like a little wider they're just so cute it's like a dark purple is it a dark purple oh no it's like black yeah it's black with the f purple florals and then uh the white of course but yeah, it looks really cute i thought this would be cute i didn't look this up but you know what let me just look it up real quick because why not i got my phone started filming on my camera so i can do things like this so let's go to safari and type her in carolina bell montrell it's a boutique brand which i figured um it does well, new with tags, at least I'm seeing. So let's say Poshmark. Their jackets and cardigans do really well. So if you guys ever see like their, it's like the open front cardigan, that and that brand, super well. It's, um, yeah, they have it. Let me let me not be crazy and look up comps the correct way because I'm just like this is not working. Okay. okay, so if I look at Carolina Bell, we see the jackets are reselling for a good amount. Um, yeah, jackets. The open front cardigan gets a good amount, and when I mean good amount, I mean like uh, between thirty to fifty. It looks like. Um, I think that's like the average but the actual shirts um oh this exact top sold for $16 it only retail for 48 but either way I'm still happy about this top because I think it's really cute um I was thinking like cottage core maybe to put a hashtag in um but yeah so if you guys see Carolina Carolina Bell and their cardigans jackets they do a lot better than the tops do and I'm looking at jeans and like bottoms and stuff they don't do that well um the jackets are what does very very well or at least sells for a lot higher price than everything else this but yeah this open front cardigan style the long line jacket seems to be like their popular style I guess because it's selling like hotcakes maybe not hotcakes but it is they have a lot of soles okay what's up what's my son is right here but i blocked his face because i mean he's my son you know he's only like a little, little boy so i don't really want him necessarily on youtube yet um my daughter you know i can i was trying to not have her be all over youtube in my videos but this girl don't listen and she loves being in front of the camera so next is time and true this is just a walmart brand but i thought this was so cute you guys like this is an extra 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 large so size 22 um i wasn't like planning on keeping this or anything but it's just really really cute that i might i don't think it'll fit me though but it's a button front and it's striped with these embroidered hearts all over it and then it's got like the little ruffle detail here and then up at the collar this is really pretty it's a high low hem i mean it probably will look really nice like oversized so this would be considered oversized for me because i'm an 18 so it's about two sizes too big but like with some leggings and my docks those would be cute but I'm not trying to keep it, so I need to stop. I need to stop because it's not for me. Okay, we have Zara. So I love picking up Zara. I don't know if that's focusing or not, but well, we'll see. And this is a medium, and it's a plain top. It's just a blue, like a bright blue, but it's ribbed. And I feel like this might be like a mini dress because it says medium but i feel like a medium wouldn't be this long so it's probably like a mini dress um i i personally love selling zara picking up zara like that's my thing and then oh i actually found this right when they were about to um 
switch out the bins so this location was a little different than what i'm used to um, when they're switching out the bins they make everyone stop shopping and then they just switch out whatever rows that they call over the intercom and so yeah like nobody can be shopping on either either side like the kids not the kids the clothing items and the hard goods because they separate like hard goods is on one side with shoes and then clothing is on another side but yeah when they are like rotating out bins nobody could be shopping so right when they were like oh you gotta get off the floor i uh grabbed this because you know i i have a problem y'all i just feel like i'm missing out you know so i grabbed this my last item i was like all right let me just look at this one last item and it was cp shades which um i've only found one other time i think and this is a size medium and it's just a long button front. I feel like this might be like a, you could probably wear this as a dress, but it might be just like a tunic. Um, and then, yes, yeah, there's nothing really to it. It's just, unless this is men's. Do they do men's? I actually have no idea. But it's rayon and flax, and um, it's just a collarless button front top. This is, what is this? Oh, this is Torrid, one of my favorite plus size brands to sell. So Torrid, this is a 2X and it's this eyelash sweater. Eyelash, is that, that's what it's called, right? Eyelash? I think so. Eyelash sweater. It's like pink and it's in really great condition. This is so cute. I need to get that listed. This is, I have these, um, where is it? Oh, I don't even have it up, but I got a, a garland thing, and it's got, like, all of these pumpkins on it, and my daughter keeps ripping them off. I'm like, why? Why? So, the garland only has pumpkins on, like, almost only half of it. Okay, so this is, like, a shawl, right? That's what it's called, a shawl, sweater, poncho. I usually call them, like, ponchos, but I don't know. Maybe that's not the correct term. Um, but it's just a sweater thing, and it is BB Dakota. And this is a, it's one size, and it's acrylic and polyester. It's in really great condition. I thought it would be a really cute for the season. It's probably not going to get me a ton, but it's, it's good for the season. I forgot I folded, like, all this stuff up all nice and neat. <laughs> this is, um, there's little, like, deodorant marks on it, but this is Pink Victoria's Secret. I, when I used to go to the bins all the time, I would pick up bras, especially from like Victoria's Secret, because I know people like them. I know I used to like them too, um, but I don't ever buy them when I'm like thrifting at a regular thrift store, so I feel like they're a little overpriced. But this one's in really great condition. It's still got its removable straps, and it's so soft. Like, it feels like, maybe I should do that. <laughs> it's so soft. It feels like suede, kind of, but I, I know it's not. Like, I know it's not. Um, and then this is a 36C, so it's just uh, Victoria's Secret. It's not the Victoria's Secret pink one, it's just the regular Victoria's Secret. But it's in really great condition. No peeling, no nothing, no stretching. There's a little bit of like deodorant marks or whatever, but that's an easy fix. Alright, this is American Eagle Outfitters. This is new, oh, I thought there was a tag on there. I was like, whoa. So this is a little cute little cropped floral top with the adjustable straps you can like you know redo them time however you want and this is a size of medium and this is the tag american ego outfitters and then i saw these i literally only picked these up because they're new with tags um so these are tommy bahama kids tommy bahama these are a size five I was like, oh, maybe I'll keep these for my daughter, but that's just, that's ridiculous, Asia. That is way ridiculous. She's only in 2T, so I'm going to sell them, but they're like really stretchy, like jeggings. Oh, my son's asleep now. Okay, this is, what is this? This is, oh, this is Adidas, and this is a kid's 12 to 14 and it's a size oh wait i just said that 12 to 14 is a medium but it's really nice i like it it's like the little color block type detail with the half zip long sleeves it does have like the little thumb thumb hole there on um, the bottom has like a little bit of peeling but it's probably a really easy fix this is pendleton petites and it's a size 12 and it's just a silk uh a silk like floral is it floral this looks floral yeah 
leaves and floral and branches yeah so i would say floral so a pendleton floral skirt with the lining on it it's 100 percent silk so that's definitely why i like picked it up this is piranha i love selling piranha it's a medium it's got the the logo here on the back and these are what is this oh it's just a mask maxi skirt it's been a minute since i got this stuff and since it takes me like days to film one video i just be forgetting but it's a maxi skirt it's got pockets it's it's nice basic nice but cute this is um i was really excited about this i don't really find i don't really buy outerwear at my thrift store because it's it's like ten dollars a jacket like everything is priced one price and all the outerwear is like ten dollars and so i just feel like that's a little much for me so this is columbia it's a size large and it's a green well it's like a neon yellow like highlighter type jacket i don't know it's coming up different like a different color on here but it's is bright nonetheless let's just say that it's bright but other than that it's in really great condition there's like a few little spots but i think they're just surface so i probably could just um wipe those off and then what are you i think this is sweaty betty yeah so this is sweaty betty whoops there we go sweaty betty size large and i wasn't sure if like this was a kid's large or something because it's got someone's name on it and i don't know that adults put their names in clothing i mean they could but i never really i never really seen that i've only seen it with like k clothing clothing and i've seen this a lot and a lot of other items that i didn't pick up um this person's name was on it so i don't know but it's sweaty betty first time ever finding or picking up sweaty betty it's just a pink pullover sweater um, it looks like it's probably oversized and it's in really good condition this i got because simply because it's new with tags and i tend to like pick up new with tags items at the bins like i just can't say no unless it's like a random brand that i've never heard of but it's just old navy it's an extra extra large plus it's plus size you know and it's a shoulder tie blouse i think this is linen maybe it feels like it let's look oh it's cotton it's 100 cotton oh, sorry my nose it just okay next is crew cuts that's the j crew kids line in case you didn't know and this is a size 10 and it's this is cute little like swimsuit it's so cute it's got the ruffle sleeves and these are cherries all over it there is like a ton of peeling back here on the butt um but i feel like i could probably get that off if not i'll just list a little lower than what i was typically going for but yeah it's super cute kid skirt i mean um swimsuit because this is a skirt so my brain was like thinking skirt this is american eagle outfitters and this is a size 16 this is so cute i was thinking like maybe i should keep this until i lose some weight and then squeeze into this bad boy but honestly where the heck am i wearing this little mini skirt to but it's really cute i wonder if there's shorts under no there's not yeah i'm not wearing this anywhere so i'm not gonna keep it but this is this is so adorable okay this is eddie bauer size small i used to pick up eddie bauer um a lot actually when i is this i cannot tell if this is focusing if these brands are focusing so if they're not i really do apologize because you guys are going to see a whole video of me showing you brand tags and none of them are focusing so just use your imagination i guess i have no idea but i used to pick up eddie bauer a ton in um when i used to go to the seattle bins because there is is always out there like everything is out there but it's a it's a button front long sleeve and it's like bright orange but it's in really great condition um it honestly doesn't even look like it's been worn but you know i'm not gonna list it as new without tags this is lucky brand and this is a size eight they're just button fly little cut off shorts button fly right yeah button fly little cut off shorts great condition what are you this is my girl Eileen. We love Eileen. This is Eileen Fisher, size large. And this is a jacket. Is this a jacket? Yeah, it's a jacket. It's like a lightweight type jacket. 
and it's got like let me see if i can show y'all close up of the material it's like patterned but not really and so the zipper has like um like the paint peeling off of it but other than that it's a really good condition i mean i don't see anybody not buying it because the paint is pulling off on the zipper tab like that's just that's a life you know okay so why did i get these you guys i don't know i really don't know why i picked these up um maybe just because of the brand and you're probably let me see if i can find the logo to show you so yeah lululemon and um they're just some um, flare pants but they're really pilly um you could tell they have been worn through and through what size are these, you ask? You probably didn't ask, but I'm going to tell you anyway. They are a size 4. So, honestly, I'm probably just going to put these in like... Ugh, probably going to put those on eBay auction. Or just put them on like Poshmark or Macari for like rock bottom prices. Because they're... Where is your... Oh, here it is. Because they're uh, not in the greatest condition, but... I just, I'm, I'm so weird about it. I just pick up Lululemon even though like, why? Why am I picking it up, you know? But let's move on. This is, oh, this is Car, Carhartt. Yeah, Carhartt. That's the logo. It's a size extra large and it's got the little front pocket. It's a plain tee, but I've listed uh, Carhartt before and it sold it sold uh it was new with tags but it's it didn't take very long to sell and it sold for full asking price okay next is silence and noise silence and noise size large and it's a um zipper front like um it's a zipper front mini skirt basically bodycon mini skirt i don't know if that was you call it but it's just a mini skirt it has um like tiered is the fabric is tiered like can you see that there you go fabric is tiered but it's a button zipper front size large it's like really it's like kind of heavy not gonna lie ngl ngl this is what are you oh yeah i was super happy to find this so this is pendleton it's a size medium and it's a pullover jacket or sweater it's really nice I actually really like this um, I love the stripes I love the colors it is a little dirty so I definitely will have to like you guys probably saw it it's kind of dirty but I was really happy to find that this is new with tags Lane Bryant hello so Lane Bryant new with tags it's a size 26 28 and it's a paisley pullover long sleeve it's lightweight it's sheer because i can see right through it but it's really nice i actually really like this color and it's what did it retail for it's new attacks y'all new attacks 50 bucks for 49.95 but we're gonna say 50 because you can't put cents in uh what should we call it poshmark okay so this is rockerware so not only is it like vintage, but I love the size, you guys. And I know this is gonna sell like without any questions um, because of the size. So before I say the size, I have noticed when it comes to men clothing, the bigger size, the plus size men, um, are they called plus size men or do they just say the bigger men? I don't know. But the plus size men clothing items for me that I've always listed have typically sold right away without any questions within the first I would say within the first like month I'll give myself a month because some of them sell within the first week some of them sell within like two weeks but within the first month they always sell for full asking price never any questions never any problems with the buyers like they're great so this is a size 5x and it's just a rock aware uh, pullover or crew deck I should say is brown and it's other than that logo it's pretty plain it does have the rockerware logo here on the back i mean i actually really like that that'd be cute little like little little dress you know but i'm not wearing a dress mm -mm. i need a little bit of shape because i'm built like a box so next is uh harley davidson and this is a size medium 
and it just says what does it say harley davidson ride free 1903 and then on the back it says south dakota it says um oh i guess this is just one of the stores in the harley davidson stores in south dakota but yeah cute little top and then there's another harley davidson top this is the same size oh wait no this one's a small and then this one has like all of the uh what's it called the jewels is it jewels bedazzle i don't know and I, I call it bedazzle but like what are these called gems who knows anyway so it's harley davidson and then on the back of this one it says colorado or colorado i guess that's how you really pronounce it and then I thought I got another one, but I don't know. Maybe I'll come across it later. So this is St. John, and it's so pretty. Like, look at this. This is so pretty, you guys. I love this. And it's just a blouse, so there, that's all to it. So it's size small. We have a sweater that's dirty. She's a dirty sweater, dirty sweater. Oh, it's Lululemon. Okay. So, this says Lululemon on it, which is why I remembered. Here it is. So, here's the, where is it? Right here. The Lululemon logo. And as far as size, um, I don't know what size this is. Honestly, I was just going to try it on myself and see because I know what size I am in Lululemon and go from there. But it looks like, um... It looks like a 6, 8, probably. Yeah, I don't know. There's no size on this. I don't even know. I've never found a sweater before for Lululemon, so. And then all the sweaters that I have for Lululemon have pockets, so the size of the pockets. But that's where the care tag was, or the pull tag was. But yeah, it's just a pullover sweater. It's nice and heavy, chunky, and then I really love the... Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, here it is. I really love the sides. So it's got this little split here, and then it splits, and it's on both sides. I really love that. That's actually a really cute detail. Okay, then we have. What are you? What are you? Where's the tag? Oh, here we go. So I have no idea how to say this. Um, so I'm just gonna show it to you guys. That's the brand right i've picked up the brand i think once before it's a u.s size 14 and they're just some pinstripe cropped or maybe ankle pants good work pants and then we have a lululemon this is actually the very first item i found when i got to the bins it was just sitting there but it's lululemon and um, the size, I would just measure it to see what size it is, but if it's a 10 or a 12, I'd probably just keep it myself. It's a little pilly, so I don't think I'm going to get a lot for it, but I mainly grabbed it just to see if it was like my size, and because I love purple. All right, then I have, oh, I got this item. I was super excited about this. So the brand is um, Hotel Pell, Hotel Pell, I don't know, but someone put their name in it. Kathleen Utterback, unless that's the designer. I have no idea though, but this is the tag. So I don't know if you want to see the tag, but look at this jacket, you guys. Isn't this so cool? This is like, this is so cool. I absolutely love this. I love all the detail on it. It's so amazing. And it has um, shoulder pads on it. So yeah, I'm gonna put that on Depop, get that listed. Okay, I'm gonna pull some more bags and Okay, so I got another big old bag here, and then I have a couple of smaller bags over there. But I'll just grab an easy one so I can get them out of the way. Alrighty. Alright, first up is this is American Eagle Outfitters, and it's a size extra small. And it's just a quilted jacket. And it's so cute. I love I love the way this looks like this is so cute it looks like a denim jacket but it's quilted and I love the buttons it kind of just reminds me of like the free people one but not so oversized just more fitted which is what I like but I can't fit it it's an extra small <laughs> it's an extra small okay this I don't know why I picked this up but it must be a good brand or something because oh it's smart wool okay 
Okay, so I was like, it's kind of pilly. She kind of pilly. So this is smart wool, size small, and it's a zip front jacket. Let me sh let me zip it up for you guys. I don't even know. I didn't even check to see if there's like holes or in this or anything, but better late than never, right? Just do it when I'm here. Okay, so this is it for a jacket, and then it's kind of pilly. Not gonna lie, it's kind of pilly, but it's got these buttons here on the on the sleeves, and the, the sleeves are so long. I mean, the arms, yeah, they're so long. I don't know about that. We'll have to figure that out. This is new with tags, Old Navy. Um, I don't know. I love picking up new with tags, Old Navy from the bins because. They, oh, I'm glad these were together because I really thought this was a one piece. Wow. So it's actually two separate pieces. I thought it was a one piece because it was kind of tied together. Uh, so, yeah, this one is a medium. Cute little. And then this one is a large. And this one has the tags as well. And it has the hygiene liner. Yeah, little cheekies. Um, let's keep it moving. So this is Victoria's Secret Pink, which I have not picked up in so long, so long. Victoria's Secret Pink, and there's like a big old spot on the back, but I can get it. It's got all these jewels on it, and it says pink. I think you guys can see. Long sleeves, lightweight, their signature pink color. This is, oh yeah, so I grabbed this, and I meant to look this up. So I grabbed this and I meant to look this up to decide if I really wanted it or not, but I totally forgot to look it up. So I'll look it up right now because why not? But this is Bella Dalla, Bella Dalla I think, size 12 is girls, but it's really cute. Look at this. So it's a jumpsuit, some long pant jumpsuit, and then you can adjust the straps. Well, yeah, you can adjust the straps. You just retie it right here you can adjust it and it's like really crooked I don't know okay well it's all twisted up but it's just you guys get the gist it's a jumpsuit it's all twisted up and then the drawstring race right here so let's look this up because I actually meant to do that and I totally didn't so let's head over to the posh the posh she mark Bella doll whoops gotta clear my last search Bella Doll Girls. Oh, there's a brand. Okay. Bella Doll. Let's go to kids. Let's take off the size because I be soft with my kids all the time. And let's go to sold. And I guess I'm talking you guys through how to do it if you case you didn't know. And then let's go to I like to do just in just to see how fast certain type of things are selling. Wow, okay, so new attack. Oh, wow. $100 retail for this. I mean, I could see it as an adult, but kids? Jesus, I don't think I would buy my daughter something that much brand new. They grow so fast, especially at this age. Okay, anyways, Asia, focus. So, Bella Dollar Girls jumpsuits. Um. Wow, even the shorts are, the top is, there's a t-shirt. I'm sorry guys, I'm just so flabbergasted. There is a blouse that sells for, that sold for $30 for the girls and then the matching shorts by the same person sold for 25. The dress suit, or the dress, the jumper, 30, 35, 45 for a little dress. Ah yeah yeah that's wild that is wild yeah so the older kids stuff sell for a decent amount the younger kids like toddlers are selling for a little less um, which makes sense but that's wild okay so I guess I did good at picking that up but that's 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 crazy so yeah keep that in mind you guys okay. I got some socks, don't ask me why, but they're Pendleton. Um, I'm just gonna keep them for myself. I'm gonna wash these bad boys and wear these for myself. Okay, um, these are, oh, this must be for my daughter, probably. Yeah, this is for my daughter. Which is perfect because I think she's gonna dress as minions for Halloween with her girlfriends. 
So I think that's perfect because I needed some overalls. But I got these little cute little overalls. They're 3T. They're just genuine kids. Oshkosh, bogosh. And yeah, it's got like the embroidered down here. I'm going to separate their stuff. Okay. This, um, why did I pick this up? I don't know. I probably shouldn't have picked this up. I probably should have just threw this back. But I was going to give it a try with washing it with, um, what's that stuff? Denali always talks about it. I think it's pure pure all or something like that basically the detergent that brings the blacks back to life or the dark colors back to life so this is just free people intimately and it's a size small and it's just a bodysuit it's really cute actually but I was gonna just try it with this and see because it definitely it has it's just you could just tell it's been washed like a ton you know like a ton a ton so I just figured I'll just try it with that and see what we got this oh I actually saw this you guys and I had threw this okay so I picked this up right I picked it up like this and I was like oh that's linen or like a curtain or something and I like threw it but then something in me was like just look at it so I grabbed it again because I did like the color I was like oh maybe I'll take a look at it it's actually free people it's a jumpsuit you guys so this is free people it's a size large and so it's a strapless jumpsuit and then it's just really hard to like show you guys but it's like wide leg and here's the split it's very like i don't know i looked up the stock photo of this i don't like it i do not like this dress but this jump is but you guys should free people this their stuff is weird maybe um well some of their stuff's weird i will find a photo and put it up here for you guys because it's really hard to show you guys what that looks like but um i'm sure you can imagine what it looks like all right this is Victoria's Secret and she is a size she's a one size size so I thought this would be cute for it so it's just a um it's a robe it is missing the oh never mind I guess it ties right here in the front or unless it did come with a belt but I didn't see one and there's no belt loops so I think I could get away with it but it just says love on the back I thought it'd be really cute for like Valentine's Day or even Christmas coming up this is ooh, she cute this American Eagle I freaking love American Eagle stuff y'all I really do some of this stuff's really cute it's American Eagle size medium and it's a floral dress the color blocking is this a dress Mm, it looks kind of short. It might be a tunic. I don't know. I'll put on a mannequin and see, but yeah, it's really cute. I like that. This is, what is this? Oh, this is just a, um, I don't know. You guys might not want to see this. It's just a pillowcase. It's a bamboo pillowcase. I just thought I want to try it out because I've seen it before, but this is the, um, the brand on it. It's like Etu, Etu. I don't know. But I just decided to try to grab it and try it out. It's new. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been used or smell like it's been used or anything, but I'm still going to wash it. But I've always wanted to try bamboo sheets and bamboo linens and everything. I heard it's supposed to be good. So, yeah, that's literally the only reason why I got this. I'm not looking to resell this or anything. Okay. Then I got, what is this? Big old tag. Oh, this is Forever 21 Kids Pantone. Is that how you say it? Pantone? But I thought this was really nice. It's like a basic pullover, but it's unisex. And um, like I said, it's just Forever 21 Kids, but I, I thought this was really nice. The size is... Oh, it's a US 910. So obviously I'm not going to keep this for my kids because that would be absolutely crazy of me. These are BDG Urban Outfitters. They are the Twig High Rise, and they are a size 27. They're just black, extra extra skinny, black legs with the knee, black legs, black pants with the knee blown out. This is a oh, 1 September. This is actually on the ground. I pick up the stuff like as I'm walking and going through the bins. If I see stuff on the ground like within my path, I will pick it up and usually I just throw it back in. Or sometimes I just look at it. But this is one September with the which is a um, anthropology brand. It is a size medium, and then it's actually really cute. It's got all this embroidery on it, and then this part though it looks embroidered, but it's actually just printed on. But this part up here is embroidered, and then 
it's uh, just the stripes on the back, but it's really cute. It's a high-low hem. So you can wear it with some leggings if that's like your jam. Oh, this is uh, this is just from my son. A little cute little thermal top. It's 12 months. The brand is Little Me. I don't know. I don't know where Little Me is sold. This is Loft. I love picking up Loft and and Taylor's like I really like their stuff it's really cute but it's new with tags and it's just a pleated polka dot skirt which is right on my alley I've actually it's funny because I've been looking for a skirt just like this to wear my graphic tees because I feel like I can't really find one that I really really like but this is not my size so I'm actually probably just going to take the stock photo I mean the style name of it and try to find one myself but this is be super cute because I like to wear um, skirts with my graphic tees sometimes. Oops. What is this? Oh, this is Zara. Zara. I'm like, look at this, you guys. Look at this cute little sweater. Oh, my gosh. This is so stinking cute. It's a 6'7". But, y'all, this is that is absolutely cute. Like, part of me wants to keep it because I don't buy Zara uh, retail. Oh, I don't really typically buy anything retail for my kids um, since I'm a thrifter and this is so cute and I feel like if I sell it then will I be able to find it again you know but this is this just adorable y'all adorable and like they both could wear us you know whatever whatever this is Urban Outfitters size small and this is a little tank basically just a little tank rib with the lettuce trim this is okay so this needs a lot of work um it's got like it just needs work i don't know how to fix it i don't but honestly i might not even try to fix it i might just sell it as is i might i'm gonna still give it a wash but it's just rei elements and there's a tag so this is a little vintage rei jacket I love the color, so pretty. Basically like a windbreaker. Inside it's got the green, and then yeah. And it's Arnark. I think that's how you say Arnark. Oh, this is the kids. I didn't even realize this is a kid's jacket. It says here at the bottom. Yeah, here it is. I did not know that, let me show you. So, REI Kids. And is it reversible? Oh no, it's not reversible. I was just curious. It does kind of look like it's reversible. I don't think it is. So this is kids. What size is this? Oh, it's extra large. Okay, it's extra large. That makes sense, I guess. That makes sense. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give that a wash. See if we can get that all cleaned up. Like. It's hard to explain so it's got like these marks like like oil marks kind of you know how like you get oil marks on your t-shirts and stuff or like blouses and you can like kind of see it but yeah this is what it looks like but it's all over so I I feel like it's not supposed to be there but I don't really know we'll figure it out this is Carter's it's a four but I had to get these. These are so stinking cute. Like, honestly, by the time my son turns four, they probably would have made these again because Carter's is fast fashion, but they're so cute. So I'm definitely going to keep these for him. I'm being crazy. I know. I know. What is this? This is, oh, wow. I find a lot of, I found a lot of free people. This is free people. And look at this, y'all. Isn't this just the cutest sweater? I love the stripes. I love the colors. Dolman sleeves. It's got the reverse, um, the reverse seam. I'm actually gonna try this one on and see if I can fit this one because you know free people runs kind of large sometimes. Because and if I can and if it fits me like just right, she mine. She is mine. And it's like the towel material, like terry cloth. I think that's what it's called. All right. So I oh never mind. I got some more clothing items. This is Fabletics. And this is a size medium, so Fabletics. I actually find Fabletics quite often, but the tag is never there, so I never get them. And I really do like selling Fabletics, but like I said, the tag's not there, so I have no other. But yeah, so I have no way of determining the size because they don't put their sizes in their um, 
in the pockets like Lululemon does, but they really should. It would really help if they did because I find a ton of Fabletics. But anyways, let's move on. I really like this pink. It's like a dusty pink. This is super pretty. Absolutely love this pink. The logo is still intact. This is a, um, so they're like in great condition. Okay, so I found, oh, I keep trying to show you guys these shoes, but I have more clothing items. So this is T. I think T is, I know it's a kid's brand, but I wonder if there's like another name for it. I don't know, but it's just a, um, it's a graphic tee with the little tugboat on it. And, oh wait, that's not a tugboat. <laughs> that's a submarine. My bad, y'all. And it's um, just striped. It's a size large kids. Okay, now I'm going to show you the shoes. So I found a couple of pairs of shoes. I like stopped and looked at the shoes right before I was leaving because for the longest time, I didn't know that shoes were on that side. So every time they would pull out clothes, I would get in line for clothes, not realizing they have shoes down there. So I got these shoes. They're Nikes, they're little kid Nike shoes. I think they're really cute, really nice. They're in great condition, the soles look great. These are a size nine. So my toddler, she's in a seven right now, but, or she's in a six right now, about to be in a seven. So it'll probably be a minute before she could wear these, but I'm gonna keep these because they're nice. Well, I'm going to finish this video today. So I have a few more items to show you guys. Um, I just kind of condensed everything so we're back into this duffel bag here and then I have a small Ikea bag of stuff so let's just get right into this all right so I found these Nike shoes um, they are a size 9 I think yes yeah, so they're 9 I believe these are women's 9 yeah these are women's 9 so they're 9 they're in great condition I haven't picked up shoes in a while so when I saw a couple of shoes, I figured I might as well try and pick them up. Um, I do have some more shoes at the bottom of this, but no. In one bin, I found a bunch of, um, like, what's the word? It's not designer. It's not really high end. It's just, like, the more desirable children's clothing lines. So I found a bunch of polo, and then I think I found a couple of Janie and Jack items. Um, I might have already shown those. And then, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you all the polo items. So... These are, this is a polo crew neck 4T. I'll show the tag this once and then obviously the tag looks the same. Why is it this focusing? There we go. So there's the polo tag. So I got this crew neck. All of this is um, taller sizes. And then I haven't quite decided if I'm going to sell them or keep them. I don't know. But this is a, a little kid's or infant size is 6 to 12 months. But this little, it's cute. And then I found this one. This is a size 5, so that one might be sold. It's just a thermal, long sleeve thermal. There we go. Um, what's this? Another long sleeve thermal. This one's a size 5. It's the same exact one, just a different color. Then we have this one. This is 3 months. This can actually fit my son right now. It's just a stripe 1Z. And I think that's, oh, no, we got a couple of more. I'm just going to show them all right now because why not? This is a size 5 as well, and it has the American flag on it. It says, let's see, RL, so Ralph Lauren, Porn, Polo & Co, New York, New York, MFG is supply, 5 pounds. And then I believe that was the last polo item if I come across more I will obviously just show them as I pull them out and here's another one this one is a size six and it's a it's a flag as well and this has polo across the front so yeah tons of toddler slash infant polo items this one is another kids item this is Janie and Jack and this is a size 12 to 18 months Janie and Jack and this is a cute pullover or overall so cute it's got little sailboats all over it and then the straps are right here all right um i found this 5t cash t-shirt it's just a graphic tee it's like looks like the jack daniels logo but johnny cash i picked up these little nike dry fit shorts these are for my toddler they're a 4t 
but she actually can um you know just walk around in them and stuff i also picked this little top up this is a champion uh, what is it champion sports bra size small it's in really great condition i thought that was really cute and then i have a couple of bags so this one is vera bradley and this is a it's in really good condition but it's just you know the typical quilted material shoulder tote or shoulder bag it's a great condition it's got this part right here this little nice little closing detail here it is pretty clean on the inside i'm just gonna give it a wash though this i picked up um this is more so towards i was gonna use it to just like carry um my clothing items at the bins but i found another bag to put them in so i was just probably gonna sell this on depop but it's a juicy couture uh oversized tote it just says uh juicy sweet couture couture so yeah it definitely needs to be washed but it's just an oversized oversized tote like um you know like a spin the bat spin the night bag there's no oh here it is i'll say there's no logo but like the name is all over it so this is the the tag right there and it's just 100 percent cotton okay and then i picked up this bag let me see i don't remember the brand or anything it might have just been So there's a style name there's a style number to it but i don't think there's an actual brand on this i just thought it would be cute and kind of like on trend it's just a um a woven bag but it's a little tiny mini like backpack it's so cute isn't it so i don't know sell on depop or something there's no brand on it but i just thought it was really on trend it looks cute nice and uh clean then i found this rebecca minkoff bag it needs some work but I was really excited to find it. I've never picked up Rebecca Minkoff before. Uh, it does, like I said, it needs some work. It needs to clean on the inside. And then it also needs just a little leather touch up around on the corners and stuff. So yeah, excited. Just got to put some work in on that one. I picked up this. This is so cute, you guys. This is Oshkosh Bogosh. This is a vintage jacket. It's 24 months. Look at it. It's a little puffer jacket. It's color block. Got all the multicolors on it. I found another one like this a couple of years ago. It's kind of similar, but different design for my daughter. So that one she still can't fit yet, but this is, this is so cute. I have another pair of shoes. These are some Converse's. They are a size, I think, I think it said women's eight. A woman's, gotta look again. These are a women's six, a men's four. So they are skulls, like sugar skulls, Converse's, Chucks. They're pretty good condition. Um, but this one, I guess maybe they're not in that great of condition. This one kind of like the back here's got a little, a few holes in it. But this part is like still sturdy. Either way, I'm going to clean them up and get them listed. Also found these Sam Eldemus uh, sandals. I haven't picked these up in such a long time. I used to pick these up all the time. Like from the regular thrift store because I knew they would sell, but they never did. They, I mean, they eventually sell, obviously, but yeah, I would not pay full price for those ever again. Um, these are, what is this? This is Athleta. There we go, Athleta, size six. And it's, a, it's an athletic dress. It's just kind of like a body contact dress lots of stretch and then it has a halter top up here it's like a gray i feel like they make this color a lot in a lot of things this is brandy melville where is the tag there we go brandy melville and it's a little like a little slip dress bless you a little slip dress it's really cute mini black floral with the scoop neck back it'll be perfect for the holiday season coming up we have top shop i mean torrid it's torrid sophie so that might be like a collab i don't know i've never seen that tag before so size one and it's a there we go it's a blouse pullover blouse it does it is line this is this is cute this is cute oh it's anthropology 
size 2x and it's a it's a cherry blouse isn't it this is so cute it's a sleeve it's a sleeveless button front blouse cherries all over it are they cherries yeah they're cherries and then okay so i already showed those shoes i just found the other shoe the nike there's stuff in these pockets here which i forgot i went until i was putting the stuff away yesterday all right so we got this is i'm trying to go as fast as possible because my camera is about to die and i'm really tired of trying to film this video for y'all this is just it's been days it's been almost a week okay so this is airy it's sold at, uh, I don't know, you probably can't really see that. It's Aerie. It's sold at American Eagle, and it is new with tags, and it retail for $35. It's their sleepwear line, and this is a size large, but they're just relaxed, like, green, army green pants. It cuffs down here at the bottom. It's got some pockets, but they're probably high-rise. I don't know. You, they're relaxed pants. You can wear them however you want, I guess. This number is, oh, White House Black Market and yeah i picked up white from the bins and it's still clean white house black market it is new with tags and it's just a white fit and flare dress with it's like mini it does have pockets yeah i can't believe this is still nice and clean this okay so i actually did look up comps for this and comps were pretty reasonable so i decided to get it but this brand is called reason it's a size of medium and it's just this colorful button front top like i don't really know what's going on with this what it is it's probably like their logo or something sorry it looks like characters different type of characters on it i don't know but it was reasonable good worth it so i decided to go ahead and pick it up they have like a bunch of colorful type prints and stuff okay oh there's a lot of stuff in this pocket we have Nike and it's Jordan and this is a size large which is a kids oh it's a kids large and it just says Jordan across the front it's hooded and it's got the Nike dry fit logo down there this is gonna be perfect for the season this is oh and also I was hoping that this would be oversized which it kind of looks like it is so I might keep this one for myself it's just forever 21 it's nothing crazy it's a size large new with tags and it's just a flannel it's super lightweight but in front it does look like it's oversized so I might be able to fit it um, and hopefully it's still kind of like oversized on me but we'll see because that definitely looks bigger than a large this is another new attacks item. This is Eileen Fisher. Can you believe it? We found Eileen, our girl at the band's new attacks. It's just an orange pullover top. It does have like this seam across the bottom here to give it a little detail, but it's pretty, pretty basic. This is um, Scene Worn Kept. I've actually never found this brand before, but I decided to look it up because it looked nice. And I think it's an anthropology brand it came up. So Scene Worn Kept, size small petite. And it's just a, uh, it's just a blouse. It's just a crew neck blouse with the flutter sleeves here. And it's got the floral cutouts all over it. And then this is Lane Bryant. This is a 1416 and it's just a pullover like knit top and look at the sleeves the sleeves are so pretty on this i thought this was real super cute this is my size but i don't know if i'm gonna keep this i don't think i'm gonna keep this one but yeah and then this top part is actually lined so only the sleeves are sheer this is a really nice item okay so that's everything in that bag so let's move it along to this next bag i only got a few more items hopefully i can get this all filmed before my camera dies on us Okay, we have Burt's Bees Baby. This is obviously for my son. Um, you know, you're not new here. So yeah, it's a pullover or it's a onesie. This is not focusing. There you go. Burt's Bees, it is a onesie striped. I like it. It's a footless onesie. This is also for my son. And this is, I think this is homemade. Yeah, I think this was homemade, so I wasn't really sure on the size. There's a tag on it. It's, oh, this is vintage. It's made in USA, health text, permanent press, six months. I don't know, but it's like, um, 
it's like the sweater material or the towel material and then it's just a cute little onesie it says this for six months but i don't know he could probably could fit it right now it's really cute it's got that cute duck there we have these overalls these are a size 3t they are just old navy and they're gonna be for my daughter obviously but this is perfect because I think she's going to dress as we're going to do mayans for Halloween. So, you know, they wear overalls. I know I found those other pair of overalls, but those ones fit the theme a little better. We have, oh, you guys, this is so cute. This is a lot of stuff for my kids right now. Just bear with me. So this is Baby Gap. I'll show the tag, but Baby Gap. And this is a toddler three years, but this is really, really cute. Let me show you. It is a corduroy pan jumpsuit. It's got florals all over it. I like this. I wasn't sure if this was actually three, but I like held it down on the floor next to me and it comes up to about the height. This is three months. Got this for my son. It's just Carter's, but it's a stripe pullover with this little shark here out, outside, out the pocket, like coming out the pocket. I really like that. And then this is oh so this is a girl's item but um obviously my daughter can't fit it anymore but i'm gonna um i'm just gonna sell this one is kate quinn which i really like their items but i never found one at the bins before it's just a um oh i think it's missing a oh it's not missing a snap button i thought i was missing a snap button it's uh like one of those balloon onesies type things it's really pretty it's really soft i know their stuff is like me is it like bamboo or something or this one's 100% organic cotton. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I know they're like a conscious line. All right, so I picked up these shoes. These are just Cat and Jack, which is a Target brand. And they are a size 7. These are going to be for my daughter. I got a, she's almost into a size 7. And then I picked up these Crocs. These are the Iconic Crocs Comfort. So I'm going to show you the bottom. The bottom is where it says Crocs on it, but yeah. They're just mossy oak tie-dye type crocs these are a size nine i do not plan on keeping those because that would be crazy um but then again i'm like keeping stuff until they turn five so i guess it's not that crazy these are so these are worn they're definitely warm but they can be cleaned up so these are little juicy couture sandals like look at those aren't those cute little juicy couture sandals with the beads all over it um, these are a size 7 as well, so obviously for my daughter. I found these Lulus. They are new. Have not been worn. They're, they're like definitely on trend with square toe. That's still in, right? On square toe. It's got like this part right here. And then you just wrap this part around your ankle. But yeah, great condition. They're white. They are brand new. This one is still sealed. And they're a size woman's 8. So they're my size, but this isn't my style, so I don't see myself wearing those. Oh, look, guys, I found this. Just kidding. This is my daughter's. I don't know why it's in there. So we got that. We got that. Okay, we got... Oh, this is for my son. Is Actually, he might not be able to fit this anymore, but we'll see. It's Guns N' Roses, and it's a zero to three months, but look at it. It's just a little sweatshirt. It's so cute. So and then it's got the little button at the top because, you know, their heads are kind of big. This is just the Athleta, like headband, nothing crazy. I'll show the logo though, if you want to see the logo. Um, I picked up this. I actually was going to throw this back because, I don't know, I just felt like, I don't know, I just felt like I didn't want it, but it is Pink Victoria's Secret, and it does, it's the, the um, what's it called? The plaid? Yeah, like the gingham plaid, jumpsuit, pajama suit, onesie for adults. But I looked up comps because I, I was going to throw it back. But I was like, let me just check comps. And they're actually doing pretty well. Like, the they have a bunch of different versions of these. But these gingham onesie pajama things do pretty well. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll keep it. This, which I saw some lady literally looking at it. And she put it right back. But, you know, we're all not there for the same reasons. So this is Coldwater Creek. I mean, not the best brand, but look at this, you guys. It's this Aztec jacket, and it's got, like, the suede down here. I don't know if it's real. i got to look at the contents, but it's so pretty. It's so it's in great condition. It has the shoulder pads. Like, it's kind of bright. Maybe not for this season, but 
I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. And it looks like the last item I got was this Columbia, I think, or North Face. Columbia, yes. Yeah. So Columbia, Columbia 2X, and it's a jacket. Um, it's like a skiing jacket or just a winter jacket, I guess you can call it. And it's hooded. It's got the outer shell on it for like the snow and the rain and then it also has the inner shell which is just like the fleece itself you can also take it apart which is just i love that about jackets so it just north face makes jackets like this too and i usually i used to get them but that was when i was living in washington state and it's not that cold here in california so i don't get them but i was super happy about this because it's such a nice size like they still have their skiing tag on it i just gotta take that off but it does need to be washed a little. Um, the inside is a little dirty. You could tell that they last worn it and probably just donated it. But yeah, it's in really great condition. I need to take apart this jacket and check this one specifically, the white one, to see how well of a condition it's in. But I was super excited about this. Um, that's going to get me a pretty penny. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And like always, I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.